Because we all want to run our mind and run our life. If you want to run your mind, you better understand it. And if you understand your mind, there's, there's only three things wrong with everybody. One is I'm not enough. One is I want something that's not available. And the other is I'm different, so I can't connect. Whatever you're treating somebody for, if you're a psychiatrist, a doctor, a mental health worker, you only have to treat those three things. And then even better is, you know, I was told that the mind is very complex and it takes a lifetime to understand the workings of your mind and a second lifetime to put it into practice. I'm like, no, mm -hmm. that can't be. Nobody would go, hey, Sean, here's a great brain. Oh, my God, your brain's amazing. And you know what? When you're 95, you'll crack it. What a shame, it's too late to put it into practice. And I thought, that, that can't be true. And in fact, I'm very lucky that I've traveled all over the world working with everyone from CEOs to billionaires to someone who's got a bakery or, or is a school teacher. And our brains all work the same. They're very simple. The mind does what it thinks you want based on what you tell it. If you go, that will kill me, I'd die if I do that. I'd rather die than give a speech. Oh my God, I'm so terrified of standing, opening my mouth and sounding stupid. Your mind goes, don't worry, I'll give you a massive panic attack. You'll never get on that stage when you say, I'll do anything rather than have to have that meeting with my boss next week. Your mind goes, how about a chronic bout of diarrhea? Mm. If you keep saying, oh, God, I don't want to do <laughs> that. I'd do anything not to do that. Or even when you go, oh, I'd love to lie around or with nothing to do, your mind goes, how about the flu? So your mind does what it thinks you want it to do, and it bases it exactly on the words you use and the pictures you make. That's the mind. And if you haven't got what you want in life, your mind thinks you don't want that. And if you've got a lot of things that you don't want, like procrastinating and self-sabotage, I can guarantee you've said somewhere, I'm scared of being successful. What if I eclipse my husband and no guys like wealthy women? Or, you know, if I make it, I'll be a terrible parent. Or if I make it, the stress will make me ill. So if you haven't got what you want, your mind thinks you don't want that. And if you've got a lot of things you'd rather not have, your mind goes, no, you need those. They're very useful to you. People can't reject you now. So your mind does what it thinks you want, always. Even if it's completely wrong, the way you feel about everything is only down to two things, the pictures you make in your head and the words you say to yourself, there's nothing else. You know, you could say, God, I'm gonna get in this metal tube and hurtle through the air and that's gonna kill me. You could go, oh wow, I've got six hours on a plane, I can watch my favorite movie, I've downloaded my favorite show, can read a book. Um, and we are wired to love what is familiar and avoid what is unfamiliar. That's a fact, but it's an even better fact. You can make anything you like familiar or unfamiliar. You know, shoving a lens in your eye is a very mm. unfamiliar thing to do. No one goes, oh, where's the lens? Wham it in. I've done it. It takes about 10 days, and then you can do it even without a mirror. So a very simple thing to do is look at how you speak to yourself, because the words you use are the blueprint for what you are. Take out the word my, you can go my ambition, my drive, my passion to be a speaker. I got something to say and I can say it. But if you go, oh, I got my nervous stomach now. You know, when I go on stage, my blushing happens and then I open my mouth and my fear makes me go, uh, uh, and I knew I'd messed that up. No. So put the word my in front of something you want and put the word the in something you don't want. Yeah. But even the words you put in front of it, you can go, I am freaking awesome. That's more powerful than awesome. I'm amazingly driven. I'm super successful. I'm fantastically motivated. That sends a clear message to your mind. Yeah. See, if you want to have a mindset and you want a dialogue with your mind, here's a couple of things to understand. The mind only works in the present tense. You can't go next year I'll be rich next year, I'll have a bikini body next year, I'll have a great relationship because your mind doesn't even know what that is. It has to be now. I'm successful now, I'm healthy now, even though it isn't true. It must be in the present tense. It must make a picture, saying every day in every way, my life is better. I call that a WTF expression. What, what, what does that even mean? Life is a walk through a garden. No, it isn't. Sometimes it's raining and you step in dog mess. So that's mm -hmm. not true. But if you say, 
okay, I'm motivated. I, I love what I do. I'm on fire with passion. I love spending the whole weekend working on my website. I'm thrilled to be an RTT therapist. I've got something to share with the world and I'm amazingly super successful. And mine goes, oh, your words are telling me very clearly what you want. Present tense, exciting words. Put exciting words in front of the words. So if you go, I'm not bad me, I have good days and bad days, that, again, that's a WTF. If you go, I am motivated, passionate, I've got a gift, I've got a skill, all of it, and I'm monetizing that gift every day. I'm doing it right now. Your mind goes, your words are telling me exactly where you want to go, and I'm going to take you there.